The movie opens up showing us Solomon Cain a cruel man, who did not even spare the lives of the wounded. He sees some mirrors when he enters the fort. The creatures drag Solomon Cain's men into the mirrors when they appeared. Now Solomon Cain however advances to the king's chamber. The door to the king's chamber is automatically locked when Solomon Cain enters. Thus the rest of the Solomon Cain men are left. Solomon Cain sees the king's body there. And the surrounding temperature suddenly starts to drop. Suddenly, black smoke rises and becomes Satan. It sits there after being formed into Satan. This black creature invites himself here, I am the devil. Solomon. I came here to capture your soul. You mercilessly killed many people. This is why your sins have increased. So no matter what happens. You are destined to go to hell. Welcome to Movie Land. Appreciate our efforts by subscribing and turning on the notifications. It means us a lot. Enjoy. Saying this, the devil attacks Solomon, but he escapes by breaking a window. A year later, the story shows a church in England. There we see Solomon, who embraced virtue, praised for evil deeds. It means that he became a good being so that God would show him his mercy. He might not send her to hell. He also donated all his wealth to the church. One day Father Solomon will come. He says to her, I dreamed of you because your goal is different. So you must leave this church. Solomon Cain must agree with that father, despite his reluctance. So he starts going to his hometown, leaving the church. Some bandits attack Solomon on the way, capturing him. But Solomon does not counterattack. They simply beat him because he does not want to depart from virtue. Taking advantage of this, the bandits beat him so much that they make him unconscious. Waking up, Solomon finds himself in the car. In front of him is a girl named Meredith. She nursed Solomon. Meredith and her family move to another town. They camp somewhere at night and spend the night there. Solomon recalls childhood memories as he slept at night. Standing near the mountain, he notices it. Her brother teases the girl and sees her. Solomon forbids the brother to do so, but the brother ignores him. At the same time, Solomon's brother falls from a high mountain. After that thought, Solomon immediately wakes up. Immediately after, he moves in with Meredith's father. There she chats with him and also reveals her reality to him. I have been involved in bad behavior in my life. I have committed sins that only bad people can expect. So my soul did not remain pure. So now I have adopted the virtue. Meredith's dad tells her, bravo. To do the same, never depart from virtue and God will forgive you all your sins. The next day they move on. Solomon checks. This family is so simple and nice. So he loves this family. For him, the most loved person in this family was none other than Meredith. As they walk, they reach a city that is completely burned. All the townspeople were burned to death, except for the little girl. They comfort this little girl and take her with them too. Meredith's father asks this little girl, what happened there? How did this city burn? The little girl says to him. The townspeople tried to burn the witch, but she did not burn despite many struggles. All the people who came to witness the witch's death, she killed them all. Family members say to this little girl, pray for those who have fallen victim to this witch. This little girl refuses to pray out of fear. Noticing this, Solomon becomes suspicious of the little girl, so he carries a crucifix near him. With this, the little girl gets her true form. She was a witch disguised as this little girl. This witch tells Solomon to draw a mark on Meredith's hand. The devil is waiting for you. Saying this, this witch flies somewhere. A male is seen who is dangerous. He captures the robbers who captured Solomon. And he begins to convert all bandits like him. He lays his hands on them all. With his actions, everyone comes under his control. Meredith asks Solomon about the sign. He replies, I have no information about that. Just trust me. Many people were imprisoned by the Solomon witnesses who covered the pawns of the man. And they carry with them. Seeing this, Solomon tells Meredith's brother. Move in now for your family. And ask them to take you away. But the males had already attacked Meredith's family. Meredith's brother starts screaming hearing her scream. Salome gets there. The man grabbed Meredith's brother. And he was going to hold the knife to his neck. Solomon, says the man. I am asking you to leave this child. He's just a little kid. Don't kill him. Because under the control of the male. Thus he ignores Solomon and kills Meredith's brother by slitting his throat at the same time. Seeing this, Solomon becomes depressed and breaks down. Then he concludes, raising his eyes to heaven, when I kill them. Then hell is definitely for me this time. But I don't care now and I gladly accept it. 
Solomon begins to mercilessly kill all the pawns of the masked men after this decision. But the masked men had already brought Meredith from far away. Later, Solomon comes to Meredith's father. Seeing her, her father says Solomon, promise me that you will save my daughter. You will stay with him forever. Solomon organizes many weapons to fight them. Solomon falls prey to many of the masked man's pawns who chase him. The male pawns have eyes and faces that rotate when they die. Seeing this Solomon realizes that all men are controlled by men in masks. Solomon continues to search for Meredith for several days. One day he goes to church. And the church father arrived there. In the basement, you can see devils, also made by a man in a mask. He ruled them all. Now dad knows this fact here. They are sinless in this act applied to them. The male is guilty of all actions. So he takes care of all these devils by keeping them in the basement. That means he feeds them. Solomon, he asks here. What do you serve them? But his father does not answer him when he hears his question. Rather throws Solomon in the same cellar. So they all devils eat Salamoto to satisfy their appetite. Now Solomon is trying his best to fight all the devils with a sword. At the same time, he also finds a way out. These devils will not come out after him for the light. Out came the same bandits who had become devils because of this masked man. He watches them. When these bandits attack Solomon. Then Solomon kills them all with a counterattack as well. He then questions Meredith from their leader after torturing her. This leader says, he is now dead. Knowing this, Solomon becomes aggressive with him. He throws her into the basement. Solomon is saddened by the news of Meredith's death. His heart breaks and he begins to drink alcohol excessively. Then Solomon's old partner, who participated in his group fights, arrives there. He says to Solomon, extending his hand, do not lose hope. Lead us to face them again. We want to fight these devils. But Solomon forbids him to do so. He asks her to leave because Solomon is so depressed about the death of Meredith. The male and his pawns arrive there after a while. When they come here, they wreak havoc throughout the village. They set fire to the whole village. In doing so, they hang all the villagers. And among them was Solomon. He takes no steps to free her from hanging. Because he didn't need this life, he hung in there. After a while, people who hit Meredith cross the place. Meredith sees Solomon here and starts yelling. Solomon also hears her scream. Here he learns that Meredith is still alive. So he tries to free himself from the gallows, using all his strength. He later falls after being thrown from the gallows. But the man's pawns were there. Salmon was so weak here that he didn't have the strength to fight everyone. Then at the same time, Solomon's old companion comes from behind. He brought his whole team here. He kills the male's pawns when he comes here. They remove the spell applied to Solomon. When Solomon comes to, he notices that his hands, which were injured by hanging, they have now recovered. They discover where the male is now. The male is currently in the palace. The king of that time. He was none other than Solomon's father. Salomo, says his companion, I grew up in the same palace, but I don't know if my father lives there or not. Then they move to the back door of the palace to attack and gather their forces. On their way there, they meet the same witch who previously disguised herself as a little girl. Now Solomon is so aggressive against this witch that he immediately kills this witch by throwing a knife. At first glance, many devils created by masked men approach it. The male will also be there later. When he gets there, he starts fighting Solomon's men. Here it turns out that this masked man is so powerful. Thus Solomon's men decide that they go into hiding in the palace without fighting the male. Solomon here is fighting a male so that his men can enter the palace. After that, Solomon enters the palace through a small door. He goes straight to the prison where all the prisoners are kept. He sees an old man and Solomon recognizes him at first sight. As if he is my father. He is also trying to free his father here. It means he is trying to untie her. Despite these struggles, he is unable to break his chain. Because the spell was chained. Solomon apologizes to his father at that point. He says, my elder brother died in childhood because of me. But the father says to him, when your brother fell into the ditch. He was still alive at the time but was lying there unconscious from his injury. I treated him with many doctors and priests, but he did not recover. So I called her the strongest man. This powerful being was none other than Satan. I fulfilled all the conditions he laid out. So I brought your brother back, but at that time your brother was lost in the world of darkness. So he wasn't the same. His face was disfigured from the fall. So now she has to live after covering her face. Here it turns out that Solomon's brother is not another person, but a man in disguise. He was not on the list of good people. 
Solomon's father gives him a gun and tells him to kill him. Because the devil's companion he brought will live as long as he lives. Solomon must inadvertently kill his father here. After that, Solomon moves to the king's room where he meets the devil. This companion was none other than the demon from which Solomon ran away at the beginning of the film. Then Solomon goes to kill him, sword in hand. But that devilish companion turns into the same black smoke. And he disappears from here again. Solomon sees Meredith there in the cage and breaks the lock on the cage. But the male attacks Solomon coming from behind. Solomon tries to explain his brother's masculinity. Look. Try to understand, don't be my competition. I am your brother. You should avoid all these actions. But the masked man begins to fight Solomon again and downplays his words. Solomon, asks the devil's companion, calling him during the battle. Where are you why are you hiding from me? Hearing his voice, the devil's companion shows him the portal where the animal is imprisoned. And this animal is also accompanied by the devil. So it can lead Solomon's soul to hell. Solomon again prays to God and tries to explain his brother's masculinity. Look. Try to understand that you are the king of this kingdom. Despite this, the man in the mask does not understand the brother. Solomon leaves the masked man vulnerable after too much fighting. He burns her later. Then the partner of the devil brings Meredith to the portal. He sprays the blood of Meredith in the portal. So this portal opens and this beast comes out of here. Which was huge and scary. Meredith was a virtuous girl. This was the reason why the portal opened with his blood. That beast moves Solomon to hunt him. Solomon here is asking God, God. Help me he also escapes from the beast by praying. He then reaches the devil's partner who stabbed Meredith in the neck. Solomon, says the devil, though you seize my soul. But save the life Meredith. The devil's companion asks Solomon when he sees it. Why do you want to save his life? And give your soul. Salomo, he says and pulls out his gun. Because I promised her father that I would save Meredith at all costs. Saying this Solomon he shoots at this devilish fellow. It is dead on the spot. Meredith also breaks from it in this way. Solomon fulfilled his promise by rescuing Meredith. So God forgives all his sins. So the animal also returns to the portal. Both become so sentimental. They were also so excited about it. In the end, we see that the devil is finally gone. Solomon sends Meredith to his mother and she stands by the stream. And he is ready to go elsewhere. Because he now knew the purpose of his life. He cleanses this entire world while destroying devils and evil spirits. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.